Good afternoon and welcome to another installment of the Metal Forming Minute. My name is John Wickerchess and I'm here with Kyle Billen and we're here to discuss the HG option on the Uniroller lubrication system. So Kyle, I see you brought an HG unit, unit for us to look at today. Can you explain a little bit about how it works? You bet, John. The first thing you'll notice about the HG unit is that the frame is engineered a little bit differently than our standard Uniroller Type S model. Mm -hmm. Here you'll see a pivot point and heavy duty air cylinders which allow the frame and the top roller sets to rise. Now, earlier, Kyle, you mentioned the Unis Roller Type S and how it's different from the HG uh, that we're looking at today. Um, what kind of applications can the customers expect to use the HG for? That's a good question, John. The HG is great for coating heavy gauge coil stock. Oftentimes, when dealing with that heavy gauge coil stock, there's deformities in the coil ends that make loading and unloading the material very difficult. The design of the HG applicator provides a wide opening for these deformities to pass through. With the HG unit, the customers have the ability to coat the very thick stocks and also protect the roller from any damages that can happen because of these deformities. So Kyle, earlier you were demonstrating how the HG unit is simply moved up or down with a flip of a switch. Is that something that's easily done on, in the field? That's a great question, John. Unis offers a manual valve or a solenoid valve for operation. We have 110 VAC or 24 volt VDC that can be tied directly into the operator's controls, allowing for easy and automated operation. So Kyle, I see that these cylinders are, are rather large in order to move this system up. Um, is there any special equipment needed in order to do that? No, all we need is 40 PSI shop air um, minimum. Anything above that would work fine. So Kyle, can you open up the system again for our viewers and tell us a little bit about the, uh, the width that uh, the HG can handle? Sure, John. The distance between the bottom roller and the top roller sets about six inches or 142 millimeters at the widest position. We also have a series of metering screws on the side that can be adjusted to control the rate at which the, the HG opens and closes. So Kyle, does the HG Uniroller system offer the same benefits as the Uniroller Type S? Yeah, absolutely, John. The only real big difference between the two is the large pivoting frame to create that wide opening. But similar to all the rest of our Uniroller systems, it features a rugged frame and our patented internally fed roller design which creates that consistent and precise film of lubrication onto the coil. So with the controlled and consistent coating of lubrication, you're able to eliminate a lot of the mess that uh, typically happens when you're doing any type of metal forming. Yeah, absolutely, John. You're also providing a lot better protection for your dies while cutting the loop consumption back significantly. Well, Kyle, thanks for coming in today and showing our viewers a little bit more about the HG system. No problem, John. If the viewers want to find out a little bit more about the HG option, please contact us or visit us on the web at unis.com. <laughs>